Louisiana Beer Reviews, Hevelius Caper. Uh, product of Grupa Zweig, S.A., Colon. Imported by Amtec International of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, couldn't find anything on their website. Well, I couldn't find a website for them. So, uh, it says this caper started, at the bottle says A.D. 1690. So, I do know this. It was named after Jan Hevelius, an astronomer and a brewmaster of Poland. So, this company was founded <coughs> apparently in 1690. It says best before December 12, 2011. So, hey, this is out of date. So many beer stores keep stuff on the shelves for so long and don't check. 8.7% alcohol gets an average rating on Beer Advocate and a 42 out of 100 on Rate Beer and a 77 out of 100 for the style. Uh, it's a very strong beer. I guess you'd call it Imperial Pilsner. Never had it. Bought it in Racine, Wisconsin at Arby's Liquor. Let's see what it's like. Is this a twist cap? No. Oop. A lot of smoke here. For sure. Your typical 16.9 ounce European bottle. Um, all right, brown, at least it's brown. Okay. Much like that um, Lomzo Mockney yesterday, this has a thin slightly off-white head <clears throat> and a hazy orange appearance with uh, some streaming bubbles yes um, don't see the little brown particles though like I saw with that Lumza all right let's go with the smell test kind of some soapy type bubbles look like uh, dishwashing liquid a little bit Little, little uh, brown bread aroma maybe it's a very mild aroma though <clears throat> let's get in with the taste medium roasted barley malt Maybe like Roman meal bread. Pretty decent little hop spice there at the end. Probably this is must be around 20, 20 IBUs. Not really picking up much alcohol, um, if, if any. Does have that hop bitterness, um, just standard hot bitterness uh let's see really it just has a, a European lager flavor but it's stronger you know it's a bolder stronger flavor it's much different than American uh, malt liquor beers it doesn't have that cloyingness that overly sweet sort of sickly sweet smell that you get with the high gravity lagers often um, yeah, it's not so hazy. It's slightly hazy. You can see the streaks, but it's semi-clear. The mouthfeel is um, medium to heavy, in between medium and heavy, and the finish is mostly dry, pretty crisp, uh, pretty refreshing, and surprisingly drinkable. You just wouldn't suspect, I don't think if you didn't know, you would suspect that this was 8.7% alcohol, but I bet after I drank this whole glass, and I bet after you drank this whole glass, you'd know it. You would know it, so you better, you drink this, you better take it slow. I really like it. I'm going to give it a B plus, so uh, 
I think it is a very good beer. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to excellent, but I'm gonna say B plus. Very good beer. Laissez les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.